Hello Aquarius, welcome, welcome to your weekly reading. Each week we're going to be uploading a video for you. It's for the sun, moon, rising sign of Aquarius. And we're going to have separate readings for love, but I'll be posting yours every Thursday. So and that'll start um, uh, in the second half of January. I welcome you guys and I really hope you're doing well. There's a lot of energy at play not just mercury and retrograde but a lot of energy shifts are taking place and i will be doing a live reading for you guys on the 12th of january so let's take a look at the overall energy whatever is coming for a beautiful sun moon and rising sign of aquarius all right remember this is a general reading i hear it see it feel it know it and i use the cards for you and we're starting off the week, whatever week you're looking at this, we're starting it off with a feeling of accomplishment, a feeling of confidence. And what I was getting before I started your reading is something big is getting ready to shift through this energy shift that's taking place. Something's going to happen in your world. And that's exactly what these cards are indicating. So you're going to start the week off with a heightened sense of confidence. And some of you are really going to be tapped into your inner knowing your own ability all of the we all have the ability and how far we practice how far we use it is up to each individual but with you beautiful aquarians and i'm a fellow aquarius this is huge mystifying magical moment for you to become empowered seeing everything around you that is going to help you become centered and grounded is going to be a really overall by midweek you're going to feel it you're going to know it you may even see it like I do. Whatever it is that you're working on, whatever you've been working on is absolutely going to put you in a place of feeling centered and grounded and in this nine of pentacles energy. So Aquarius, this is your moment to really take all that. And what I'm hearing is absorb. I'm hearing the word absorb. So take all of that energy that's around you and dis just let go of anything that feels out of balance and is leaving you a little bit uh, weary because as you, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> as you roll into the week, you're going to be feeling amazing. Now let's take a look at some of the detail and we're going to go in a little bit deep. And if we uh, choose to, we'll look at extending, doing an extended reading for those of you who want to expand on my regular weekly readings. But we'll do that one step at a time with our new 2022 changes. And that's what I'm talking about. You guys have something big that you're working on. Some of you, this is about public speaking. You may be in a public sector, not necessarily on YouTube, uh, although it could be for a small amount of you. This is more in a public environment where you're speaking to 20-30 people. That's what I see in a group setting. So this could be a teaching position because we have the card of teacher. You're a card, uh, you're an air sign. You are the Aquarius. And this is having the inner wisdom, the confidence to stand out in a crowd. And that's exactly what's getting ready to happen. So let's pull some of the detail. Now, this may be about your career. And some of you, this could very well be about a romantic situation or a family member, a friend that you're dealing with. And we're going to look deep right now at the detail. So with this, we have... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, individual may be very, very important to you. A Virgo, I also feel Capricorn is attached to this reading. Scorpio is attached to this reading. And so is Cancer. So let's see what they want you to know. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Let go of the feeling of lack. Let go that you may not have the income that you need right now to actually feel confident because you're coming out of it. You are going to change this with your own ability. You're going to change any of that feeling of lack. If we're talking about lack and love, Aquarius, you're going to be picking that up and going forward tenfold, tenfold compared to where you were. So if you're already in a relationship, it's going to grow. It's going to expand and there's going to be more sensuality and sexuality because you yourself are going to fall in love with you again. Not from an egotistical point of view, but from the beauty inside of you. What you've lacked is now your turn to get it back. And that's why that empress is there by midweek. This is saying, absolutely, you're going to be resting the mind. 
You see, before this is the three of swords, as you already know, and after the three comes a four. So after we go through all the stages of grief, okay, for that situation, for that experience, even if it's a job loss, a loss of a family member, a friend, a friend that betrayed you, your own partner, and of course we all know romance is definitely on there. Whatever you went through with that three of hearts, the three of swords, that's what made you feel that lack. And they're saying it's time for you to rest and to rejuvenate, to really pull out any thorns that have been poking you, little nagging energies, maybe entities. Make sure you clear and sage your own home as you sage and clear yourself. This is about clearing out the old and allowing yourself to be open to the new. And this is beautiful, letting go of that. It doesn't mean there isn't going to be uh, struggles along the way. Of course there is. That's just life, right? Until we create this brand new world. But in the interim, this is saying, let go, let go. So we have this beautiful knight of sword, or page of swords. And this is information coming into you. That's going to help you rejuvenate. It's going to help you restore your energy. Now, through the holiday season, if you were really busy, but for a lot of you, it's about career change. It's about change inside of you. It's not necessarily about the holiday, although it could be a part of it, right? That hustle and bustle. This is information coming in that's going to help you let go of this energy. And we have progressive numbers here, three, four, and five. Three, four, and five are very, very important. I feel six is going to be coming out as well. And we'll see how that plays out. But Aquarius, this is you getting ready to, to step into a brand new place of personal power, male or female. You're growing inside and you can feel it, but it may have been very stagnant. Now, Mercury is in retrograde at the time that I am recording this uh, or right around the time you're going to view it. And you guys, it's in the shadow period or it's actually in that, the, the moment. That That is one of the adversities that you may have to deal with. Also opening up your throat chakra, allowing yourself to voice what it is that you need to say. Other people are going to be ready to listen to you. So if you felt like you were ignored and rejected in the past, let that go because you've got something brand new coming in. And this is bringing in that beautiful inner child within you. The Page of Swords. It's not just about information coming in or finding it online, text messages and things like that. This is about that inner child inside of you. Now, some of you, it has to do with a family member where I feel this family member could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius individual. I feel that you've been apart from them for quite some time. Six dash eight. That could be six to eight uh, months, not weeks, six to eight months, perhaps six to eight years. That's a, a very lengthy time. Whatever that time frame is for you, whether it's months or years, it was heartbreaking for you to go through that. It hurt you deeply. You may be the, the child of the parent and you're an adult and you've been apart from them for quite some time or vice versa. But there is information getting ready to come in and that information is going to help you do exactly what I said. It's going to help you get grounded. Some of you have an incredible, incredible, amazing job opportunity coming in once you bring back your own personal power. So this is a moment for you to stand out in a crowd and really grab the bull by the horns and go for it. Be the fool and when you do, you're going to Find yourself in the Queen of Pentacles energy, gaining prosperity. And remember, Pentacles encompass everything on the material plane, Aquarius. So this is not just your money. This is a new place to live, a new career, getting your certification, getting your degree, and absolutely feeling secure in the own world that you're building around yourself. But everything's going to be pending on you letting go of this. And you will do it because the cards on the main cards are saying that by the end of the week of viewing this, you are going to feel better. Now, some of you, that's why I'm saying it may very well be about relationship. We have the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is this amazing energy. This is somebody who likes to laugh and giggle and frolic. And here's, we have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So we've got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. 
which I mentioned a couple of those in the beginning of this reading. So that may be in your own um, chart. It may be your sun, moon, or rising sign. It could be somebody you're dealing with. And for some of you, this was the season that all of this began. But for a lot of you, I feel this is that person coming back in. It may be your romantic partner. And I do feel for some of you, you are going to hear from somebody. It doesn't mean you already know them. Okay. This is somebody new, somebody brand new, somebody that you may have met, but you didn't date them. You didn't go out with them. You never got a new relationship because both of you were focused in different areas. You know, the King of Cups is jolly and frolicky. This is somebody who is the jokester in a crowd and they are fun, fun, fun to be with. And then we have you with your security and overcoming anything. Now, remember, the Queen of Pentacles knows how to give to the right person. We don't give our time freely. Okay, we, we know there has to be equal reciprocity. So like for those of you who watch these videos, you know by donating, even a dollar will lock this in for you because it's about ebb and flow, creating that ebb and flow. And that's what's getting ready to happen for some of you. This is a relationship that the two of you can actually move energetically in the same direction. So it may very well be about your career. Something is going to come in that you're going to love it and it's going to help you feel secure and grounded. For others of you, it's absolutely a romantic situation. And there's that communication. And again, I feel the two of you, you already know each other, but I don't feel it was on a romantic level. This may be a job application that you applied for, but you didn't hear back from them. Through the holiday season, through the end of the year, and the beginning of 2022, any beginning of any year, it is hectic as can be. Either people are exhausted and they need a break, or they're trying to wrap up from the year before. This information is getting ready to come into you by the end of the week, and it's going to make you feel alive. Look at this. This is great. You're going to get two, perhaps. It may not be just one offer. It may be two. For some of you, it could be one of each, love and career. But whatever it is, you're going to be singing, and you are going to be connecting to Mother Earth in a beautiful, beautiful way. Now, again, we have Aries, Leo, Sag I think we have everything on the board here, actually. So let me pull some adversity um, and see what kind of challenges are coming in because this is your time to actually just stand up and be the fool and grab the bull by the horns is what I'm hearing. So you're going to be in the spotlight and then you're going to love it, whatever it is that you've been working at. 6-8 is very key and remember 3, 4, 5 and I do feel 6 is part of this. I don't know if it came out. No, I don't think it did. Well, let's see what the challenges are that you could be facing along the way and how to overcome those challenges. So I hope you guys are doing well. Please subscribe to the channel as we grow together and we stay balanced. And I have a lot of new things available. You can check it out at AscendingSoulsJourney.com. Now we have the Seven of Pentacles, and that's what I mean. You really had to go deep into your own self. You had to struggle to survive to strive to get back up and that's what you're doing so through this accomplishment and it is an accomplishment when you look at a a plate full of different things that you need to touch and fix and heal and and remove and change and contort your entire life starting from scratch we have to go down into the deep part of our own self and look at the side that we never want to look at that's what you have done so you're going to recognize that and that's what's bringing you into that beautiful queen of wands energy where you're going to say oh my gosh Lorianne, you're right look at what i've accomplished those of you who are feeling like you're getting your booty kicked out there in the world remember look at what you've been through up until today we accomplish so many wonderful things in our lives and we forget about them very easily. And they're saying, don't do that because this is your moment to really empower yourself. It's all about you becoming that brand new person. The Prince of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Now, I don't feel this is an actual person. I feel this is the healing that you needed to go through in order to bring that openness 
open of heart, open mind into this new you, creating a new you by grabbing that bowl and swinging it all the way around because you've accomplished so much. You've healed all of these seven different areas of your life. And that's looking very, very, very deep. Okay. Now we have the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles is the differences like I was saying, where you were before and who you are today are most likely not the same at all. It doesn't mean you're a completely different person. It does mean that you have brought out the best in you. You are at a heightened level inside of yourself. And now you expect this to come in from anyone else around you. You are in a place where you do not, uh, we will not tolerate being disrespected by the end of the week. So this is a moment in time for you to recognize the differences that we have with other people and that divide that you have conquered inside of yourself. You're, un, un, you're breaking through a blockage inside of you. It's a beautiful moment. It really, really is. Now, these are also challenges. So the challenge may be you might see some things in your dream. You may see some of the past and get a little bit weary. And yet, you know, you know without a doubt that you already have accomplished it. It's not reality. It's in the past. And yet, through all of this, whatever you're seeing, whatever you're doing, you have this difference with this new opportunity coming in. It's something very different. It's somebody very different than what you're used to. So this is an amazing week for you to not only recognize yourself, but you are going to completely just swing your life into a new upward, like, boosh, and you're going to grab it and you're going to swing it up. Now let's see what they want you to know, just an overall message to help you through the week and keep you motivated and going. Denial. Okay, see this card right here, the Seven of Pentacles, relates to that denial card. Now, in the beginning, I had said that we go through all the stages of grief, and this is indicating you've gone through all the stages of grief. You've come out of the denial, and now you can see. And this may be the final touch. It doesn't mean that this is brand new. And some of you, you might just be starting this journey, while others, you've been in the journey for quite some time. The final stage of release is getting ready to happen, and it's happening in Mercury and retrograde for a lot of you, this particular one in January. For others, it will happen later on in the year of 2022, most likely attached to a um, that, the Mercury and retrograde later on in the year. Denial. I acknowledge that my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. You see, you already know. You already know who you are. So grab the bull by the horns and really take your own power and create the life that you want. By the end of the week, you're going to see it, you're going to feel it, and you're going to know it. Have an amazing week. Much love.